Part 7 in my Drumstick Grids for Beginners book, uh, let's talk conceptually about what's going on here. What you're doing is uh, either doubles on a beat or off a beat. And in this section, the doubles occur on the beat every time with the bass drum. It just moves throughout each measure into onto different beats. And then whenever you play the snare drum, it's a double, but it starts on the upbeat or the offbeat or the and beat. Um, sometimes these will do what I call overlap each other, where one rhythm starts maybe on the bass drum, and then the second note on the bass drum lines up with the first note on the snare drum, and then the snare drum plays a second note like this. So this is something you're going to see a lot in this section. For some people, it's very difficult at first to practice this maybe on your own without looking at all the exercises, just this idea of playing bass drum, then together, and then the snare drum. tell by looking at this section that not all the exercises are that way. Some of them are easier and are rhythms that we've played similarly already. So um, if we're doing uh, number one, let's try number one. If you look at 15, uh, the snare drum starts the rhythm and then it finishes up with the bass drum. So it does snare drum together, foot. So again, this is something you want to practice before you tackle the exercise. Just practice that a few times, get used to the idea. So let's try doing 15 together. Some of them are a little bit more straightforward. They don't overlap. So you can just read those. Practice all 16 of these with the training video so that you get a thorough education of coordinating your body with this book.